Hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to codingscientist.com we are here today with a machine learning exercise using Arduino Nano BLE Sense the most exciting and most beautiful a tiny little machine learning device we are going to build several ml projects along with iot projects and a robotic projects as well anyways so let's let's see guys where we are we are on lesson number 3 in lesson number 3 we this particular lesson we are going to install machine learning sound digital microphone so what exactly is that so basically uh, the microphone sound sensor it's a in built sensor which comes along with your 33 ble this has got a very small tiny little microphone if you look at it carefully you know you got to take a pretty close look there is a tiny little microphone which comes in built and this microphone does lot of magic guys trust me it does lot of magic i have i have done so many projects it's working fantastic anyways so the microphone sound sensor as the name says you know it basically detects the sound as simple as that uh, those of you from the arduino world who have worked on arduino uno or nano or any other boards you would have seen a microphone sensor which which is of this big size right which comes along with the kit or separately you can buy a, a microphone with three pins uh, you know uh, built in but in this particular board the sensor itself is built in so you can imagine the power there are of course varieties of these types of sensors available on the market you can buy separately you can breadboard it you can solder it but all those headache is not required using this board we have a inbuilt digital microphone so basically uh, there is a library called digital microphone mp34dt05 there's a, that is a chip actually it's basically a, a digital microphone chip it's made by a company called st microelectronics okay is an it's a pretty much ultra compact low power omni directional most important the sound is detected in all the direction not in a single direction like a traditional microphone which is available for arduino right so this particular sensor actually detects the sound all the 360 degrees and then the digital mems microphone built with a capacitive sensing element and an ic interface a integrated chip interface to it so this sensor also produces an output code in pdm so what is pdm pdm is a pulse density modulation i am going to talk about that uh, this at a later stage when we start doing some coding uh, aspects so basically the pdm format is supported by a library called pdm library that can be used along with arduino sound as a library called arduino sound library so these are inbuilt library comes together which contains you know several examples and sketches and stuff like that for to use the sensor which we are going to see in the future lessons so the pdm library allows you to use your you know pulse density modulation the pdm microphones such as the one which is here along with the chip which is mp34dt05 that is a chip which is inbuilt within 33 ble sense all right guys now let's let's take a look at it how we are going to install so i am going to open up my ide and there you go i hope you guys can see my screen if you cannot see i'll just open it one second all right i hope you can see the screen so open the ide and then what you need to do go to sketch include library and then manage libraries once you go to the manage library box this section you'll get all you need to do is type arduino oops arduino sound space sound okay it takes a minute and there you go so you can find ton loads of library arduino sound and uh, you know play and analyze arduino data 
uh, which is for Sam D21 boat and I2S. Okay, and there is also something called Adafruit one. There is also sound library, Adafruit sound library. And then there is also, there are ton loads of libraries available here. So we will have to figure out what exactly we will need. We will basically need, I will show you in a second. Actually, you can use any of this because the sound library any which ways, which interacts with the MPD uh, chip, which is inbuilt. So let us do one thing. Let's go to the first one. A simple way to play analyze audio data from Arduino. Currently only support SAM20, SAM D21 chips boards with I2S. Okay, so that is our board anyways. So we can go ahead and install. You can just, if you want to read more about that, click, click more info. You know, here you can see a uh, ton loads of information uh, there are inbuilt uh, libraries, there are inbuilt uh, sketch, clap detector, spectrum serial, whistle detector. Wow, there are ton loads of stuff, guys. And the library header file, hash include Arduino sound. It's same way like Python or we import, we use import in, in C++ for Arduino. We will include, we, we need to say hash include. Um, all right. So if you want to read about this, you can go ahead and read. There are a ton lot of details, but for now we can go ahead and install. So click install. Let's check the version. Go to the version. Let's take the latest one 0 0.2.1. Click install. And at the bottom you can see it's installed already. So yeah. So that's about it probably we might want to look at what exactly is MPD so let me just see what exactly is that so uh, we will have to probably look at any other library we should not miss that most important thing is the SAM D21 based board so that is the most important aspect All right, so let's check. Let's also go to go to library again, include library, manage library. And let's it's updating. Let it get updated. Let's type PDM. Add a fruit PDM library, okay. PDM microphone input library for Arduino Zero. Add a fruit feather. No, I don't think this is required. Anyways, as far as we import, uh, we install the Arduino sound library. I think that should take care because the most important aspect what we need to see, guys, in the Arduino sound library, you can see it's mentioned SAM D21 boards. So that is exactly our board actually, the, the BLE33 sense. So, you know, that is supported, absolutely supported. It's going to work, no issues. Go ahead and install this. And uh, I will come back to you soon in the next lesson and we will take it forward from there. All right, goodbye.